I discovered lots of stuff, and it was all strange, but I don't know if any of it was ac an actual clue. I'm just getting more confused. Maybe I should head to the dining hall and talk to uh, talk about it with everyone else. For now, I should head to the dining. You just said that. Stupid. Oh, let me turn the the game a little bit back up, so I'm not like that much louder than the game. When I got back to the dining hall, the first thing I noticed was ah. Hina. I tried to talk to her, but my voice was immediately drowned out by the others as they rushed into the dining hall. Hina. Hina. Huh? No, no one's dead, but Hina was in her room sick, and none of us knew why. Time until Comcast kills the stream again. Let's not. Don't, don't even, don't even, man, I swear. Huh? I thought she was sick or something. Everyone rushed past me and crowded around Hina. Being surrounded like everyone like that, Hina looked really uncomfortable. What are we looking for clues of? Uh, clues of how to get out. I believe. Because this was at the end of the class trial, so this is the next day. Hina had just found that weird ghosty head thing in a locker. And that's it. Hina. Are you feeling better already? <laughs> y yeah, I ate a few donuts and that really helped out a lot. You do love those donuts. Hmm. But wasn't it your stomach that was hurting? Well... My stomach, it kind of made me hungry, so, you know... Or, <laughs> I guess my memory's kind of fuzzy lately. Mm. They say that goldfish will eat however much food you give it, even if it's about to burst. Mm. Miss mm. Asahina is mm. pretty much the same, mm. it looks like. Just a second. Hey, you of all people don't have any room to talk. Well, anyway, I was worried about you. Sorry. <laughs> Beside that, you... Huh? Huh? <laughs> Jeez, your knockers are huge! What the heck did you do to convince them to double up on milk production? Jill! Jill, what are you doing? Ugh, you perv! Stay away from her, fiend! Uh, um... uh, anyway... First things first, we should talk about what we found, right, Taka? Hmm. Right. Joe, I loot, Joe, I loot, Joe, I loot. There, I, I got you, fam. Um, I want to talk to Hino first. So, um... Um, I wasn't able to help much with the investigation, but I... I did make one discovery. Could it be... It didn't happen to be a donut-related discovery, did it? Hmm. What does that even mean? That's right! Never mind. It's about the nurse's... Nurse... Blah, 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 blah. Nurse's office. Remember? There's one on the first floor, right? <laughs> she was the first one to say it. I mean... Well... I remember, but it's locked. Yeah. Actually, not anymore. So then. Did you find any protein in there? Or any vitamin supplements would be fine too? Hmm. I did look, but no dice. Just a bunch of headache medicine and over-the-counter stuff. I see. That's disappointing. Aww. It is disappointing. Like the end of the world is already here. I'm... I'm, I'm not sure it's that disappointing. Hmm. I searched the entire third floor, but all of the windows in the halls and rooms were blocked off. <sighs> I wish they'd give this a rest already, for serious. Just give me back my blue, bright blue skies. <laughs> Just forget about it. Impossible. You make it sound like I dropped a nickel or something. <sighs> Just to be sure, I went from one end to the other, testing each metal plate. None of them budged. So in the end... It would seem escape via the third floor is as impossible as we feared. Oh, shoot, I missed that. Whoops. Mm-hmm. There was an art room on the third floor, and it had all kinds of gear. <laughs> <laughs> now I'll be able to recreate all of my favorite anime characters. Oh, yeah, speaking of anime, that reminds me. I found something while I was looking around. Perhaps. <laughs> A digital camera? That's what it seems like. Hmm. Does it still work? You yeah, know? it seems fine. Well then, let me see it. What the heck? This thing is like a kid's toy. It looks like it can store like five pictures, maybe? It doesn't have a timer or anything. Well, 
On top of that, it seems its appearance seems... questionable. Is this some kind of anime character? Strange. You know nothing! Rude! She's not strange! She's Princess Pickles from the Demon Angel Pretty Pudgy Princess! Oh, you recognize this, Hofumi? <laughs> of course I recognize it! It's a super rare prize that was given away at a bingo contest at a big anime convention. You have any idea how much I had to pay that guy to get my hands on it? <laughs> Wait! That's my camera! Damnation. What? Wh where did you find it? In the physics lab. <laughs> it's my most prized possession. I brought it here with me, but I lost it the first day, along with my phone. Let's see. Why would it have reappeared in the physics lab? However... Ah! But look at it! What? It got all messed up. Like... When someone steals a sticker from your collection, or you buy a secondhand shirt. Well, that's it. Huh, that's it? <sighs> it's not been this conditioned. Is unforgivable! I don't need it anymore. But weren't you just saying how much it meant to you? <laughs> then may I have it? I might be able to find some sort of use for it. If any of you would like to borrow it, please feel free to ask. Hmm. Well, I can't really imagine any of us are going to need to take any pictures or whatever. Yeah, true. Oh, I didn't see Celeste behind Sakura. <laughs> there is one piece of good news. There just so happens to be a rec room up on the third floor. I have no doubt that our student life here will be much more enjoyable because of it. <laughs> will someone join me in a game of Othello sometime? Well, that's awfully straightforward. Mm, yes, yes. The wrong road to maidenhood begins with a single step. That road may begin with only wrinkly old men, but will end with strapping young, adorable boys. Ugh. What the hell are you talking about? <laughs> Got Correct. it. There was a rather remarkable physics lab on the third floor. In the midst of the middle of the room, there was a machine bigger than anything I've ever seen before. Oh yeah, apparently it's an air purifier. Huh? Huh? What's something like that doing here? Mm. Is that device really that big? Hmm. I really don't get it. Uh. Oh. Dude, Taka, you can talk, you know. Jeez, hmm. man. Oh, I just remembered. I saw Bikuya a, a little while ago. <laughs> what? Where was he? Where was he? Wh what? You're kind of scaring me. Where was he? Uh, um. He was in the locker room. He had a huge stack of books he must have got from the library. No, 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 no! So that's where he was hiding. I won't let him get away from me. <laughs> huh? She just ran off. Is she okay? We should not concern ourselves with her. I wonder what would have happened if I would have talked to him first before I talked to her. Hmm. Poor Taka, man. He's really taken Mundo, really. Like, it's no use. Okay, I've heard what everyone has to say. Now it's my turn. Hey, um, can I tell you guys something? I found something that's kind of been bothering me. What? What is it? I found this weird picture in the repository. Apparently Monokuma took it. A weird picture? You mean like, dirty? N no, not that kind of weird. It was like... A picture of Leon, Mondo, and Chihiro all together. Why? Those three. And the three of them were... laughing. Oh. Um... It showed the three of them together? Laughing? When could it have been taken? And there's more. In the picture, there aren't any metal sheets covering the windows. Well then. Then, the picture wasn't taken here? Let's see. But I don't recall hearing anything about them knowing each other before coming to this school. Well... You probably just imagined it! Monokuma cast a spell on you! No! I saw it, I'm telling you! But if it wasn't taken before we got here, 
or after we got here. How about that? I bet they're still alive! They left the school and then took that picture. Is that right? That's impossible. After all, we saw it with our own eyes. They're all dead. Either murdered or executed. And they're not the only ones. Please no! No! Why am I reliving this memory? And then there's Sayaka. That wasn't an illusion. It was real. I'm sure of it. They all died. There's no way any of them are still alive. Tear, tear, tear. So we have to figure out when that picture was taken. <sighs> Monokuma most likely forged it. I can't imagine any other possibility. Forged? Is that all there is to it? <sighs> Stay focused, man. Don't let Monokuma's bullcrap sidetrack you. <laughs> He's right. But more importantly, <laughs> on another topic, there is something that has been bothering me. I would like to discuss that. Okay. Let's discuss that. <laughs> What's bothering you, Celeste? Actually, it's about <gasps> Hina. What? Me? <laughs> you said your stomach hurt, did you not? But I believe that was a lie. What really happened? It varies from person to person, but whenever someone lies, they tend to have a way of showing it. It's called a tell. Something you can't hide, no matter how hard you try. Especially not from the world's ultimate gambler. Is that okay? Whenever Hina lies, the top of her nose just gets a little bit longer. Huh? W what? For real? <laughs> Actually, no. Huh? Oh. But your reaction now just confirmed it. You were lying. That, that's no fair! <laughs> hmm. If you're going to lie, at least try to lie convincingly. Hina. Be honest. Were you lying about your stomach ache? N y yes I see. Why? Why would you lie about that? That's it. Are you I'm feeling sure guilty? Shut up, Hufumi. Are you feeling guilty about something? Just a second! N no! That's not it at all! But... It's just... I mean, I have a reason for it. A reason? Like, why does it keep making me talk to them in between this? Sorry. To be honest, I didn't have a stomach ache. I did it because even if I came and told you the truth, I thought you wouldn't believe me. Well... The truth? I saw it. Saw what? A ghost. Hmm? A, 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 a ghost?! You mean like that ghost? Hey. Is there more than one ghost? But I mean, ghosts heck? are. See, I told you you wouldn't believe me. It's not that I don't believe you, but. Hina. I believe you. No matter what anyone else might say, I will believe whatever you say, no matter what. So, can you tell us exactly what happened? If you really mean that, Sakura, then okay, so, um... I'll tell you. Um, so, it happened last night. I was in bed, but I couldn't get to sleep. I just kept thinking about everything that's happened up until now. I ended up just getting more upset. So to try and cheer myself up, I thought I'd go get some donuts. Huh? Honestly. Donuts again? And you ignored the rule regarding nighttime. Sorry. I know. Sorry. I feel really bad about that. Hina. Anyway, please continue. But... Is the talking teddy bear more normal than a ghost? You know... That's a point. Well, so I left my room and headed for the warehouse. But then I started hearing a strange sound. I guess it's making the sound, so I don't really need to make it... It was coming from the direction of the bathhouse, so I headed that way. The locker was halfway open, so I took a look inside and... And I saw a human shape surrounded by a pale green light. 
there's no doubt who it was. It was Chihiro. Say what? Oh no! No way! <laughs> Ghost! Honestly. It is simply not possible. You must be mistaken. Just as in most cases of paranormal activity, it was born from your weakened mental state. Well, then. Then all we have to go is do, do is see for ourselves, right? Let's just go to the bathhouse and see what Hina saw. <sighs> it is a waste of time. Maybe, but there's no harm in it, right? If we don't find anything, that'll be the end of it. What? what? You're gonna go try and see a ghost? Is that really a good idea? It might put a curse on you. What the heck? You can wait here if you want. Please. I, I don't want to be alone. Take me with you. Hey. What are you gonna do, Celeste? There is nothing to be done. I suppose I have no choice. Hmm. How about you, Mr. Ishimaru? Are you gonna wait here? Oh. I um. guess that's a yes. Um, it, it was right here. I saw it in the dressing room. Uh, um, I'm I'm getting goosebumps. Come on, come la, on. La, Cthulhu Fab... Yeah, word. Please. Shut up. What if he actually shows up? Hina, where was it that you saw Chihiro's ghost? Well... I heard a sound, and when I opened the locker, I saw a kind of pale outline of Chihiro. Now I gotta go look in the freaking locker. Um, is this the locker? There's something in here. Oh, it's a laptop. Inside the locker is a laptop? What's something like that doing in there? Hey. I remember seeing this. Oh, that's right. I saw it in the library before. It looks like a laptop. The laptop looks pretty old and it's all so... covered in dust. It's broken. I tried pressing the power button earlier, but nothing happened. It's broken, huh? Too bad. But how did it get from the library to here? And I guess it's in sleep mode, but the power is definitely on. Huh? But I thought it was broken. Hmm. I would bet that Chihiro fixed it. After all, he was known as the ultimate programmer. Then perhaps... More importantly... Kina, you said you saw a green light, yes? Surely you did not mistake the light of the monitor for a ghost? <laughs> I am surprised you are able to dress yourself in the morning. Wow, Celeste, that's rude. Uh -huh. Oh man, if I had the Love's Clueless Girl attribute, I would have fallen in love big time just now. I'm so glad I don't have it. Well, I didn't expect to find a freaking laptop inside a freaking locker, okay? Oh no, I'm triggered. Because programmers really aren't IT. Let's be real, most of our programmers could not, no offense to them, could not fix a broken laptop. Hey, come on. It's okay. I mean, anyone can make a mistake like that. Hmm. As a matter of fact, one time I thought I'd spotted a gray alien, but it turned out to be a tadpole. Don't compare what happened to me to one of your stupid delusions! Don't be mean! I was just trying to make you feel better. What if I get all depressed forever now, man? But listen, isn't this really strange? What's this laptop doing here? In other words... Maybe someone hid it here. But... But if that's the case, we found it pretty easy. Wrong. Whoever put it here, I don't think they were trying to hide it from us. Huh? What do you mean? Hey. Haven't you noticed? There's one big difference between this room and all the others. There's no cameras. There's no surveillance camera. Yes. Precisely. There's no camera in here, which means there is one spot that this is the one spot where the mastermind is blind. Hmm. So you're hmm. saying hmm. someone put the lap? Hmm. Hafumi. So you're saying someone put the laptop here so the mastermind wouldn't know about it? It's true. Then what Hina saw wasn't the ordinary glow of a computer screen. It was the figure of Chihiro, shining pale green. Hey. I think it would be best if we investigated this laptop in a little more detail. 
I guess that means I get to investigate it. That's pretty nifty. It's just like Kyoko said. <clears throat> the display isn't on, but the laptop definitely has power. So then. So, first of all, we have to wake it up. Right. I started hitting random buttons on the keyboard. And the display instantly began to glow a pale green... Oh, it's a little 8-bit of um, Chihiro. There was a bunch of different icons on the desktop. Hey. There. The icon on the far left. What is it? It says Alter Ego? Hmm. <clears throat> Alter Ego. Literally means another self, I believe. In the field of artificial intelligence, it is not an uncommon to create a different aspects of personality. You can consider it something like a pen name. Makoto. Could you let me see it? With that, Kyoko moved between me and the computer. She moved the cursor over the alter ego icon, and when she double-clicked it, let me guess, it's the face? The screen suddenly went dark. And then a voice spoke to us. You really came! Chihiro's face appeared, taking up the entire display. Oh no! It's a ghost! Put it, sweet baby Jesus, save me! Calm down. It's not a ghost. What? What? Huh? Um... Then, what is it? Anyway... I'm sure if we just talk to it, we'll find out. Kyoko begins to type, hands blurring across the keyboard. What are you? And then... Hello, nice to meet you. I'm Shihiro Fujisaki. I always get so embarrassed introducing myself. That... that voice... the tone... and everything. Mm. I knew it's it. It's... Jahiro. Alter Ego. I've heard about this kind of AI program, but I've never seen one for myself. Robo Hero? Not gonna lie, kinda downer. I... I... I'm so sad. That's AI right. program. It's how Chihiro earned the title of Ultimate Programmer. The AI lives in a computer and by repeating different tasks, it gains knowledge and grows bit by bit. Apparently, Chihiro used a support vector machine and reinforcement learning tool to develop it. Eventually, he came up with a breakthrough in artificial intelligence design. Isn't that literally just a, um... Whatever, I don't care. Support vector machine. Reinforcement learning. It's true. To put it simply, it's a learning method for computers. If you want to know more, it. just I'm Google sure it. it, okay? In other words... But if this AI continues... Okay, SVMs and reinforcement learning are le legit ML techniques. That's what I thought. I thought they were actually talking about real machine learning techniques there, because it sounded kind of correct. Um, if this AI continues to grow, it'll become more than just a piece of software to help people. Some say an AI like this might someday replace people. Hmm. And that's why it's called an alter ego. A fine choice, then, I must say. It can create memories, have thoughts, and grow up. The process isn't much different than how humans work. <laughs> if you were to raise your own AI that way, it would make perfect sense to raise it, refer to it as your alter ego. I see. A second perfect personality that can never forget or grow old. That's what Chihiro created. That's alter ego. Kyoko, how do you know so much about this? Are you okay with this? Anyway, so he fixed the broken laptop and put his own program on there. That's what this means, yes? Then he brought the machine to this dressing room, where the mastermind would not be able to see it. <laughs> <laughs> but you know all about this master and whatnot. Yes, yes. I believe I'm on fire. Huh? I thought you were only into 2D. This is the most excellent 2D possible! Huh? But he's a guy. And also a computer program. Oh dear. Oh dear. I feel as if. Oh, that aspect is no problem. I mean. That aspect? Anyway. Let's talk to him a little more. Kyoko typed away rhythmically. How much do you know about what's going on? Only gave me a general idea. Well... But I do know things have become very grave. He found himself caught up in this without warning. Kyoko immediately shot out another question. 
Why are you here? That's well. Are you asking what Master had planned for me? Well, he wanted me to analyze the massive number of files stored in this laptop. Chihiro feels bad, man. I believe the files are related to the school, but the protection on them is surprisingly strong. So it's taking me a little longer than I thought. Master. But here's what the master must have been thinking. The fact that the files are protected so tightly must mean that they contain something important. For example, perhaps the secret of this school. While I was busy struggling to make a sound, Kyoko pushed forward and asked another question. How much longer until everything's unlocked? That's well. Um, it's gonna be a while. But I'm definitely going to do it, so you can just leave it to me. I see. So, because of how long it would take, he designed the alter ego to handle the workload. <laughs> Smart. It also means that the work remains uninterrupted, even after his death. Once again, Kyoko typed quickly. Keep up, but be careful not to let the mastermind notice you. That's right. Don't worry. I've got a secret plan already, just in case. Actually... I can see what's going on using my built-in webcam, so if anybody suspicious shows up, I'll just scream for help real loud. That seems like a terrible idea. It's a pretty basic plan, I have to admit. Yes, indeed. That's fine during the day, but nighttime is a concern. Hmm? Why? Are you okay Have with you this? forgotten? All of our rooms are completely soundproof. Once we close our doors, he can scream as loud as he wants, but we won't hear a thing. Okay, then how about at nighttime we each take turns guarding the dressing room? Couldn't you just, like, lock the locker instead? Or is that is that too hard? I'm sorry. Did I just... Did I just blow your mind? However... There's a good chance the mastermind would notice us going in and out of the dressing room like that. Then what can we do? So then... Once nighttime comes, I'll leave the door to my room open. What? Then there's no way I can miss the alter ego yelling. But if you leave your door open all night, then... It's true. There's a chance I be might become a victim myself. I know. However... But I'm not as weak as you might think. I'm still so on board with she's the ultimate assassin. I wouldn't go down without a fight, I assure you. She is so badass. There was an undeniable strength in her voice when she said that. She was totally confident she would be okay. That confidence was somewhat similar to... Bikuya's tone, but at the same time different. Yeah. Get an entirely different feel, for sure. The ultimate typographer! I'm actually- so I'm super duper excited for 2, because apparently 2 has the ultimate musician. So, not gonna lie, kind of really hyped for that. Like, someone who'd been dropped on a battlefield versus someone who's been born on a battlefield. I feel like that was the fundamental difference. I was pulled into my thoughts by the voice suddenly emanating from the laptop. Um, would you mind if I asked a few questions? Um, I haven't seen Master for a while. No! Feels bad, man! Feels bad! I haven't seen Master for a while. When you got here, I thought it was him, but... Is Master... For a split second, Kyoko seemed not to... Not to know what to do. But she recovered just as fast and quickly began typing. Her answer was clear, concise, and direct. Chihiro is dead. Mondo killed him. Feels real bad, man. Okay, then. I see. To be honest, I knew all along. I knew the chances Master would survive this situation was very low. So, I prepared for this moment. <laughs> it's like... Somehow, I kind of feel... Sorry for her. Um... I can't even imagine how it must feel to lose your other self. <laughs> it is a simple computer program. It does not have feelings. What? Are you sure about that? Shall we go? Anyway, that's enough for today. If we linger in here too long, then the mastermind will start to suspect something. And with that, Kyoko typed one last sentence. I'll come back later. Yes, please do. It's a promise, okay? Bye-bye. The AI seemed totally different from when we'd first arrived. He seemed... upbeat. Was it just because he was following his programming, or... 
Could he act have actually been worried about us? Man, am I gonna feel the pain of losing Chihiro for a second time? Could it be? What's wrong, Hero? Why program feelings if you only make me feel sadness? Feels bad, man. You know? Oh, nothing. I was just wondering if we might be able to get this laptop online. Then we could call for help from the outside. Hmm. But this is just a re dressing room. I don't think you can get a line from here. There's probably not any Wi-Fi in the building. Well? Well, if we take it out here and find someone that does have online access... <laughs> that's way too dangerous! The mastermind would find out in no time! Uh, um... Oh. Yeah, true. Indeed. This is no time for taking needless risks. For now, I'll monitor the progress of the file analysis. I'm confident we'll uncover some kind of clue once it's finished. Hmm. This feels like a detour more than anything else, but I suppose it can't be helped. Of course. Man, I need to get a thing for my mic at some point for dealing with explosives. For now. Well, for now, all we can do is wait for Alter Ego to finish his work. I totally forgot Sakura was in here, not gonna lie. You know? So, should we get going? It's Hold true. Up. I need a reply to this. Indeed. <sighs> Goodbye! We'll be back! I promise! Oh. Mr. Perv. Come on, Hafumi! Let's go! I suppose... Oh, okay. And we all left the dressing room. And nobody closed the freaking door! Why wouldn't you just close the <laughs> locker? Isn't it awesome? I ended up doing something totally awesome, right? And as if he'd been waiting for his cue. <laughs> dun da dun, dun! Hida has gained enough experience to level up! What's the matter? So, what was this awesome something? Actually, I might be too loud. Um, M Murakuma! What the heck? You guys all seem in remarkably good spirits! Did something happen? No, nothing in particular. <laughs> Ooh, keeping secrets? No fair! I demand an exclusive interview! <laughs> denied! Denied! Super denied! What the heck? Yeah, just because you demand something doesn't mean we have to do it. Say what? Do it? You mean like, do it, do it? Huh? Wait, wait, what? Do, what do you mean by do it, do it? This. Yes. You Gross! You said do it! Just what? What? <laughs> you said it first. We were just talking about going to the bathhouse. We have not had a chance to relax in some time. Huh? Huh? Oh dear again. <gasps> but unfortunately, the bathhouse is not divided in men and women sections. <laughs> so we decided to do rock, paper, scissors to decide which group would go in first. Hina won the match for us, and that's why we are all so pleased. Huh? Y yeah, that's right. Speaking of which... Okay, boys, why don't you head on back to the dining hall or something? We're gonna take a nice long bath. Hey, come on! Ah, jeez. What are you gonna do, right? We lost fair and square. <laughs> well, ladies, shall we go? Celeste didn't hesitate coming up with the ruse, and her poker face didn't even flinch. So she and all the other girls headed back to the dressing room. Oh. Um. um damnation! Nuts a damn it! We totally lost another day without getting to take my very first bath here. Uh, um. Yeah, but tomorrow for sure. You'll definitely get that bath tomorrow. Okay, so we should head back to the dining hall now. Hey! Hold on! Hey! hey. Something strange here. Very strange. Strange? What do you mean? <sighs> Vonakuma, you perv! You're worse than Hafumi! What's strange is, this is the perfect chance for you to sneak a peek! Huh? <laughs> nah, that's... that's... You're absolutely right! <sighs> I thought you were all about the 2D! You little pervert, man! 
Such a pervert. <laughs> All of you need to shut up, sit down, and listen to what I have to say. An opportunity like this doesn't come along very often. It's the ideal setting of a man's fantasy. Fun fact, one of the items you gained last chapter from gambling unlocks this scene. Wait, seriously? I didn't actually know this was something I unlocked. I was forced to ask myself, should I sneak in the bathhouse like Monokuma said, or just go quietly back to the dining hall? Okay, let's go. I don't even have a choice. What is going on? Uh, is this Twitch appropriate? Am I gonna get banhampered? I don't even have a choice. With the man's fantasy burning in my chest, I decided to head back to the bathhouse. You pervert, Monik Makoto. Uh-huh. <laughs> have your fun in your man's fantasy. Ah! Have a smashing good time. Am I gonna get banhammered? This isn't actually gonna happen. We opened the door to the dressing room, silent as death, and peeked inside. It looked like the girls have already finished changing and gone into the bathhouse. Oh, thank God. Oh, thank God. <laughs> They had all started as a lie, but apparently they decided to go in for real. Making sure it was empty, we quiet. What are you doing? What are you doing? <laughs> Making sure it was empty, we quietly made our way into the dressing room. The forbidden land. What are we what? So, they really are taking a bath. Is this what Celeste meant by lying convincingly? Hmm. Mr. Hakagu... Hagakure, please refrain from from pointless whispering. We're deep in enemy territory here. <laughs> Just up ahead is a bathhouse, and there awaits a great dazzling passion. I'm. You know nothing. Oh my God! I don't have a choice. No quarter will be given to those who retreat the enemy. He's he's right. If I run away now, I'll never be able to stand as a true man. I feel like it's so the opposite. You're just a giant pervert if you stay. Can I go talk to Chihiro instead? Without a doubt. What are you doing, Mr. Nayaki? There are no fantasies in there. If you need to calm down, try counting prime numbers, you nerd. I literally don't have a choice, do I? I'm gonna go sit in that chair. Please? Without a Exactly. Exactly. Oh my god! <laughs> Mr. Nagi, you're on point! For serious. Be careful, don't get us caught. If Ogre finds us, we'll be meeting our Hades, meeting up with Hades in no time. Yeah, that's the other thing. Isn't Sakura, like, bathing? I placed my hand on the door leading to the bathhouse. I opened it gently, inch by inch. I maneuvered my hand like a master craftsman to avoid even making the slightest sound. A little further, a little further, and then on the other side of the thick rising steam. I don't know if I want to click this. I don't know if I want to click this. Am I going to get banned? I saw... Oh god! Oh god! Wait, how did Toko get there? How did Toko get there? Hold up, what? <laughs> I'm not sure how to put it, but I always feel refreshed after a job well done. <laughs> a 3D body isn't so bad in its nude state, I suppose. Could it be? But still, I can't believe it. Like, for serious. How about that? Ogre's a girl. You. I'm pretty sure nobody would trust Toko there. And she wasn't there all along, was she? Was this really okay? Well, I looked too, so I guess I'm gonna have to say yes. It was written by a guy? Sorry. Are you sh was it actually written by one person? Because I feel like it would have been written by more. And I'm not going to draw conclusions quite yet about everything. There's definitely a bunch of perverts in this game. But I I don't know anything about the next two. 
either, so. Meanwhile, we heard the buzzing of voices, busy voices growing louder. The girls had finished their baths and joined us in the dining hall. I'm surprised I don't get a choice at all in it, though. That was the one thing that's kind of weird. You got it! Ah, man, what a nice bath! This is fine. Getting a chance to stretch out and relax after all this time was a true pleasure. And to be fair, of all the lewd stuff that's happened, like, that's actually not all that bad. Like, this game is no Nekopara, Nekopara, at least. That's a really nice thing. Indeed. Of course. Normally, after a long bath, I like to make myself a nice protein coffee, but... <laughs> Sorry! No time for that! So in the end... <sighs> That's what I figured. Huh? Huh? Actually... We were just saying in the bath how it was about time you got up to something. Because... After seeing how happy we were, an evil little monster like you would never let that last for long. They're, you're all so terrible to me! My entire existence! Everyone's so cold and mean! Even after I got presents for you all! Presents? Well now, well now, well now, hmm. well now! Oh, have I got your attention? <laughs> then let's head to the gym where your presence awaits! See ya later! No questions, no dilly-dallying. Get a move on and everything will become clear. Oh, um... What, what is it? What are you scheming this time? It would seem... He's probably going to repeat the same thing again. Providing us with motive to get things going. Huh? Again? I don't want to. I don't want to do this anymore. <sighs> Me either. I'm like... Totally traumatized. However... It's okay. We have Alter Ego. I'm sure he'll find something that'll help all of us. So for now... Correct. We have to endure it, come what may. Oh, no. With heavy feet, we made our way into the gym, but when we arrived, there was someone already waiting for us. What? To be kept busy by the likes of you. Rest assured, if we had access to firearms, you'd all be dead. Something something inappropriate joke. Pikuya, did you get here early? <laughs> did you forget how to walk? Is that why you're late? It's simple. Right foot, left foot, right foot. foot up his ass and then grumble grumble. The same as always, I see. Her, on the other hand. What the heck? Oh, she's back to her Debbie Donner self, huh? Hmm. I heard what sounded like a sneeze, and she was back to her old self. Huh? So now she goes for manic depressive from whenever she sneezes? Seems kind of late to add that into the mix. <laughs> what the heck? Why does everyone keep making fun of me? I hope you all win the lottery and get hit by a bus. Ah. <sighs> So when you want to say something mean, then you can talk, huh? Well, anyway, looks like everyone's here. So then... Which means... Oh, thank god. Cutscene. Oh, he's not gonna voice anything, so I'm still gonna have to read it all, aren't I? You guys? It looks like everyone's here! So then, let's get started! What? Come on, out with it. What kind of motive do you have prepared for us this time? However... Whatever you subject us to, we will not break. Okay. Yeah, that's right. We're not gonna lose to you ever again. Come on! <laughs> you don't have to get so defensive. Calm down! I've decided to change things up a bit this time. Up until now, I've been using whoosh of the north wind to get you all mo moving. But sometimes you gotta use the sun to light a fire under someone's butt. Without further ado, I give you this! Is that money? Ten million dollars! Holy smokes. I 
I've prepared this graduation present for whichever lucky student makes it out of here alive. What do you think? It's 10 million bucks. 10 million smackaroos. It's like totally wow, wow, wow. Am I right? Money, money, money. Johan sell out. So that's the motive you prepared, is it? 10 million dollars is... Hmm. It's not nearly enough. It's true. When it comes to motives, money certainly is the gold standard, so to speak. Whether it's a mystery novel or the real world. What are but you saying? there's no way we'd kill each other for money. Of course. She's right. You simply can't purchase a person's life. Uh, um. You can say 10 million or however much. I don't give a crap. For serious. Yeah. They're all right. Whether it's 10 million or any other amount of money. No. Not just money. From now on, no matter what you do, we won't kill our friends. <laughs> Come on! Stop trying to act tough! I can't wait! I can't wait! The most important thing is to live a pure and moral communal life. <laughs> Monokuma disappeared, leaving his words on stage around, along with a massive sum of money. Um... There's nothing to worry about, right? Nobody would kill a friend for money, right? Hmm. Have you so quickly forgotten the lesson from the last time? You can't judge others by your own standard. <laughs> yeah. There might be someone who's having money problems. <laughs> Personally, I've earned over one million dollars from my gambling efforts. My life is comfortable. Uh, I'm telling you! Hafumi, wh what about you? You know nothing! I don't- I'm a super popular content creator! I don't have any problem making enough to buy- I'm making enough to buy my comics and CDs! <laughs> and then- Hey, just stop. Pressing others about their personal finances is ugly. <laughs> uh, 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 ugly? <laughs> don't worry. Whatever's going to happen will happen without a warning. That is the nature of this game. Bing bong! <clears throat> this is a school announcement. It is now 10 p.m. As such, it is officially night time. Soon the doors to the dining hall will be locked. Which is a lie. Entry at that point is strictly prohibited. By the way, never once has the dining hall been locked. Like four or five different times we've seen characters go in there at night, so... Okay then, sweet. Hmm. It's that time already, huh? Hey. Before we separate, let me remind you. Starting tonight, I'll be leaving my door open to make sure nothing happens to Alter Ego. But just because my door is open, don't assume that that will make me an easy target. Because... Or the predator may suddenly find itself the prey. Her voice was calm and composed, but it was clear she meant what she said. You know? <laughs> okay, okay. Let's everyone just head back to our rooms. How about that? And don't think about the whole money thing, got it? Good. Let's break. Hmm. How's that? Pretty good, right, Taka? Hmm. Right. Man, I'm actually kind of like super sad with how sad Taka is. As soon as I was back in my room, I crawled into bed. M money? There's no way that's going to get anyone to kill anyone else. I, I told myself that, but deep in my heart, I was still troubled. After all, I thought the same thing last time about having her secrets revealed. Even if the reason for it seems completely nonsensical, a murder can still happen. That's the lesson we learned. But this time... This time it's different, I'm sure. Yeah, at least I don't have to waste my voice on Taka. The problem is if he speaks no lines, it's not like he's taking much time. Because of the program Chihiro left behind, Alter Ego, we finally have some small hope to grasp onto. As long as we have that, then I'm sure... I'm not reading these either, because <laughs> Monokuma's voice is the worst. Little kids have it so easy, because they can put little in front of their name and right off the bat everyone thinks they're cute. Well fine then, I want everybody to start calling me Little Monokuma. See, just by adding that, my cuteness goes up by at least like 10%, right? Yeah, the word doesn't have nearly enough littles. 
more littles would lead to the salvation of the world. Just imagine, little arsonist, little war criminal, little destruction of the environment, little hit and run, little death tax, little Great Depression. Even the darkest subject can suddenly become brighter! Our dreams are expanding, ding, ding! <laughs> Thinking. Ding, dong, bing, bong, ding. Ding. Good morning, everyone. It is now 7 a.m. Get ready to greet another beautiful day. Well, then, I guess I should head to the dining hall. Oh, hey, I can talk to people. What up, Hina? Hey, Good morning. You're kind of sweaty. Have you been exercising? That's right. Yep. Me and Sakura are doing our morning workout. Oh, but I didn't make our nighttime promise. I just ran around my room until it ended. Why don't you come with us next time? I don't think I could keep up with you and Sakura. Huh? Ah, serious? Ah. Okay, then. We can do something in the rec room. I'm not good at much, but I do know how to play Othello. <laughs> I'm not very good at that either, though. I don't like to think when I'm playing, so... Good morning. Oh, good morning, Sakura. Mm. Did you just wake up? Mm. Yeah. Waking up for a breakfast meeting is fine, of course, but getting up a little early is better. You can exercise in your room till nighttime ends. A big meal after working up a sweat is divine. You know, I'm surprised. Actually, her her voice is not as bad as I would think for mine. It's it's straight up 100% Monokuma and um, Hifumi are basically the worst. Ah, well, hello. Morning. Mm -hmm. Actually, it's a great morning. A morning that has blessed my entire future. Really, it seems like any other morning to me. <laughs> Perhaps you can't tell, but my soul is positively overflowing with strawberries today. Well, that's oddly specific. <laughs> well, I'm off. Well, okay, that was bizarre. I mean, even for him. Can I go anywhere? I think I have to do breakfast right away, right? Don't have any reason. Yep. Okay, well, that was interesting. I like talking to people, so... Could it be? So, the people here today are the same as yesterday. Just us seven. Mm. Yaku Yakuya and Toko are lost cause, but... Well... It looks like Tak has decided to stop coming for good, too. <sighs> it's like he's just given up. <laughs> for people wound as tight as he is. When you snap, you snap hard. I wish there was some way to make him feel better. Hmm. On another topic, Kyoko, did everything go right last night? Indeed. Yeah, I didn't have any problems. Correct. I went and checked on the laptop a little while ago, and there wasn't any problems there either, but... Kyoko seemed to hesitate, but... Whew. It's related to this case, so I suppose I should be blunt. Anyway... I have to make a new rule. Using alter ego without permission is to be prohibited. Someone going in and out of the dressing room drawn on wanted intention of the mastermind. Oh! I would have thought that to be obvious. Why do we need to make a rule about it? Well, That's hey. a good question. Do you have any thoughts on that, Hifumi? Oh, um... N no! It's just like you said. We need to be very careful. Huh? Gee, what? Whatever! Let's just hurry up and eat! We don't have time to stand around flapping our lips! Wh what? Jeez. Why are you talking like a pissed off drill sergeant all of a sudden? Dummy went and did pervert stuff, didn't he? We all ate breakfast in a rush and then headed back to our rooms. Free time? What should I do today? Free time! Time to go hang out with the person who's gonna die next! Oh yeah! Where you at, girl?
Or should I go gambling? Oh, I'm I'm Hina all the way. Hina is hands down the best. I don't get me wrong. It's it's actually going to be a combination. No, we've never once had classes. It's a really crappy school. Nobody said it was a good school. Oh, I forgot I have that emote, don't I? All right, let's give it a shot. 134 freaking coins. We'll go through 34 today. Or right now. Rather than all of them. Oh look, a swimsuit. I don't even know what that is. Technically speaking, you could call the entire thing a class, I guess? It's a class on how not to die. Dude, stop giving me baseball. He's dead. He's dead, game. He's dead. That looks like a different kind of instant run, though. but I guess not, because it didn't say it's a new percentage. Uh, what? What was that? I don't remember ever getting that before. That was creepy. Zero out of ten. What is that? I got diva ears. Even though they're not at all like divas, they're just bunnies. What was that a sci-fi gun? Do 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 Is that a whole meal? What? Whoa, double lucky! What up? I didn't know you could proc a lucky on a lucky. So is there a way- that's sad. Is there a way to... Like, get an infinite string of luckies? Like, now I'm curious, like, what's- It, it makes me think of WoW, um, when they had that paladin ability to stack luckies. Or, but crits. I wonder if you could essentially get that to happen. A lucky chained into, like, a lucky infinitely and get every single item in one single set. I wonder. Does it really cost that many coins? So, I will get a guaranteed new one for 59 coins. There's always RNG manipulation in this game. Can't you tell? What is that? We're getting some funky stuff. Oh my god. So many donuts. I'm pretty sure that was the first item I ever got. Beanbag chair. Onesie. How do all of these fit in those little tiny capsules? Like, how did you fit that sword in that little itty bitty capsule? Are they really big capsules? In which case, why is that itty bitty tiny baseball in such a big capsule?
Was that a whip? I don't know if I want to give a whip to somebody. Oh, you know what? That actually makes sense. It's just like BlizzCon, if you got anything that actually wasn't inside of it. Did I just get a bottle of water, really? Alright, so that's 34 for now. I now have a lot. Mineral water. Overflowing lunchbox. That's so for Hifumi. How's that gothic Lolita? What? Wait, what? <laughs> Quality chinchilla cover. That's so dumb. Flotation donut for Hina. No. Right? It can't be. Golden airplane. Represents an oop art. That seems stupid, but okay. Pagan dancer. A mature game designed for the fun plane, which allows you to become a massive god handing out divine punishment to puny mortals. Pumice. Ooblot. Bojabo dolls. How creepy. Made from seeds and coconut fiber. Of course. You know what? You're right. She does like donuts, and they're technically a flotation device, which is, like, swimming thing? Should I give that to her next? Because I'm hanging out with her next. I think I'm going to try giving it to her, and we'll see how well it goes. I'm guessing not amazing. Oh boy, Twitter told me that uh, certain two people in here like to tweet. Don't know why, but apparently uh, Kylaris and Soul like to tweet, and it's it's important that I know that. Why did I walk in here? That's what I'm wondering about. I'm like, she better not be offended if I give her that. She must be up swimming. No, she's in the hallway on the physics lab. So I'm probably going to split time between Celeste and Hina. Nah, I'm not worried about it. Oh, there's Sakura. There is Hina. Hey, girl. Each and every person has to do their job. The cooperation of each player is true teamwork. You got it! That's a quote from the famous rugby player Yuji Mas Mat Matsuo. Oh. Yeah, that's right. Matsuo. Cool. Also, bonus points because rugby is the best sport. Just saying. We gotta do the same thing. Cooperate so we can survive. Hmm. Should I hang out with Hina for a while? Yeah. Oh, yes. Do you want to go for a run to relieve some of this stress? Oh, come on! Hi, Cerns. Fablude. Hina and I went for a light run throughout the school. Also, something smells incredibly delicious in my house. Hina and I grew a little closer that day. Would you like to give Hina a present? Yes, definitely. Um. So. I'm not telling you to spoil anything for me, but would it be a terrible idea for me to give this flotation device to Hina, Sans? Like, would, would she kill me because I'm insulting her? Don't do it? Okay, we're, we're going for it. N I'm not giving her a hand, Brass Club. <laughs> Get out of here. How thoughtful. This is why I like you, Makoto. Or, I mean, not not like-like. Not that kind of like. Aww! She's blushing! Oh my gosh! I love it! Ah, oh, that's adorable. Seeing Hina so pleased with something makes me so happy. Is something wrong, Hina? I've reached my limit. Just a second. I'm stuck here. I can't do any sports. I can't do anything. I'm so sick of it. I want to get out under the sun and do some laps. Run a marathon. I want to do some real sports. There's a swimming pool in here. 
so I, I didn't know if a flotation device for a professional swimmer seems kind of like sketch. Just saying. Like, that's like if somebody gave me like I don't know. Whatever. Um But it's like if somebody gave you a player's guide to a game you speedrun. At least that's what it seems like to me, but I don't know. Um, I love how she says she wants to do some real sports, but there's a pool and she's a professional swimmer. Thinking. H Hina, calm down, okay? Paint by number coloring book. Is there one of those in this game? Because I would totally get it. What the heck? I can't do anything in here. If I can't move around, I'm going to die like a bunny rabbit. I don't... But I always heard rabbits die from loneliness. That's terrible! Whatever! I'm gonna die if I can't get some proper physical activity! Don't you think that's a little extreme? What the heck? You think I'm kidding, don't you? But I seriously can't sit still, you know? Why else would I have joined six sports teams in school? That's right. Six? Yeah! Track, baseball, softball, volleyball, tennis, and the big one. The big one? Swimming, you dork! She got to her main sport, but ran out of juice. Ah! Oh, oh my god! I would love her if she was a boulderer. But it's swimming. Your main sport is swimming, right? Hmm. Yeah. You got it. I don't even care what stroke it is. Just get me in a pool under the blue sky. But isn't it hard to do that many sports even for you? Well... If I can't move, I'll just shrivel up and die. And I need a challenge. More and more new stuff to try. A challenge? I mean... What I really love about sports isn't winning, you know? It's having to fight and struggle to give it all you've got to reach the top. It's that excitement, that fear that you might suffer a heartbreaking loss. But... When you finally reach that goal, it's just lonely. It's lonely at the top, you know? I never really got into sports, so I couldn't really relate to what she was talking about. But I could tell that the reason Hina was so amazing was how hard she, she could fight and struggle. She could try killing someone. Kylaris, no! You shut it! Don't you dare. You just give her a flotation device. Boulderer? <laughs> yep, yep. All boulderers need flotation devices. Um... So that's why I want to push myself as hard as I possible when it comes to swimming. I want to aim for the highest mountaintop. The highest mountaintop. Okay. I'm talking about the gold medal, of course. Aim for the gold, even if it means I'm a super gold spaz. Did she just call herself... Okay, but if that's what you want, isn't that all the more reason? If you have a goal, why are you standing around making excuses? Huh? Excuses? Just a second! Hey, when did I ever make any excuses? Sure, maybe we're stuck in here right now, with no way out. But if you really want to make an effort, shouldn't you try to see what you can do in here? Hmm. <gasps> That's a challenge! You just made an official challenge! Yeah, totally! But I think you're right. If you want to get that gold medal, I have to make every effort I can. I want to become a genius of effort. I bet Ian Thorpe said something like that. I don't even know who that is. I'm terrible. Okay. Yeah, I can't go around making excuses just because we're stuck in here. Well, you hanging out with her, so the chances of her dying are 110%. And that's where you're right, kiddo! <laughs> All right, I think I'm going to do some push-ups in my room, like maybe around a thousand or something. Almost before she was done talking, Hina took off like a bat out of hell. She recovered fast and strong as I thought I would have expected. Hina's report card has been updated. By the way, I was wrong. Um, I did look. I do have the achievement. According to that, I have completely finished Sayaka's story. Your number of skill points has increased. I have like 8,000 of those and like two skills. Once we were all done, I had it back to my room for a little while. All right, so we've already done Hina today. That means we do um, Celeste, assuming there's another free time. Yep, time to go hang out with Celeste. Wait, ding dong. Sounds like someone's here. That's not what I was expecting, actually. It's Taka. Taka. Is it true? Can I really see Chihiro? You mean alter ego? He's still alive? N no. Not quite. Hmm. Let, let me see. I want to talk to him. T 
Taka. The way he is now, there's no way I can explain what's going on to him. Kyoko said we're not allowed to use Alter Ego. But even so, I can't just leave him here like this. O okay, why don't we get going? Dude. I can see. Chihiro. Take me. Leave the area, yes. I feel so bad, dude. Can I talk to Kyoko and say, hey, can I do this? Just a second. Where are you going? Huh? Hey. It's probably best if you don't drag him around with you too much, given his current condition. Kyoko looked at Taka, standing behind me. Yeah, I, I know that. But I was getting kind of hungry. I thought we could head to the dining hall or warehouse or something. Correct. Well, then I guess that's okay. I thought I said a brief flicker of doubt. Taka seems to have lost his sanity. I mean, it's easy when your best friend is convicted of killing somebody who you also thought was a good friend. Like, I'm pretty sure that would drive you completely crazy. But maybe it was just my imagination. I don't... I don't feel right doing this, dude. Hey, look, it's Jill. Yay. Is that... Toko? What are you two up to? Don't tell me you're gonna... You're gonna... Mm, yes, yes. Having lost his new brother, Taka is ripe for the taking. So Makoto sweeps in to steal them away. <laughs> Am I on fire? <laughs> was that... Was it that or was it the butterfication? Um, I mean, the butterfication definitely didn't help. I severely regretted talking to Genocide Jill, even if by accident. You SOB! But that doesn't matter right now. Have you seen Byakuya? No, I haven't. Oh, good heavens. My love is being pushed to its limits. I almost feel bad for him. Okay. Well, there's no getting around this, apparently. Okay, so there's a laptop inside the locker. Understand? You SOB! And on the laptop, there's this program called Arthur Ego. How, how do I talk to him? Oh, um, will you just tell me what you want to say and I'll type it in for you. Do you hate Mondo? And since I couldn't stop him, do you hate me? It was clear he was forcing himself to get the words out. From his mouth, from the bottom of his heart, he forced his weakened voice to make the sounds. Hmm. Please. Oh, okay. I typed the question exactly as Taka had asked them. And then... So, um... Do you hold yourself responsible? But... If Master could talk now, I think this is what he would say. Please, live your life for the both of us. It's impossible for me now, but you can still survive and escape. All of you. Hey, Taka. I was about to say more, but quickly closed my mouth. The ones asking those questions is Taka, right? I'm so sad. I didn't sign up for these feels, man. Well, actually, I totally did, but that's a different story. Analyzing all available data, that's the only conclusion I can come to. Um. Master told me about how close Taco and Mondo had become, so that must be why he feels responsible. The screen suddenly went dark, and what appeared next was... I didn't sign up for these feels! You're not letting yourself get crushed under the weight of that responsibility, are you? Yo. A man's only worth as much as the load he can carry. You get it, right, bro? Hell, what am I saying? Of course you do. Th that's... No. I'm sorry if I startled you. So much for getting to stop using other voices and killing my voice. That was my attempt at an assimilation, using the data that Mondo and Master had given me. I figured if Taka was depressed, that's the kind of thing Mondo would have said to him. Yo. So you're just gonna stand there, huh? Just wait for things to get better? 
Welcome for the fields. You little punk! Just take your time and get all depressed. Take your time to indulge your regrets. You might even start wa walking again without realizing it. Sure, that kind of mediocre thinking might work for some people. <laughs> what if I said it with that condescending tone? Uh, uh, <laughs> Taka? Uh, uh, oh my god, he's going Super Saiyan! It's starting to sink in. The way this bucket full of water sinks into a bone-dry sponge... Huh? Those words, deep within my heart... They're inside of me! Let's go Super Saiyan! Chihiro, Mondo swears a lot. That's about it. Not even wrong. T Taka? Who the fudge is Taka? Your eyes. Hey, don't worry about it. Guess I caused kind of a scene. Shoot, man. <laughs> I have to wait five episodes while he turns up. And your voice. Yeah. I'm a new me. Yeah. Ha! I'm totally stuffed with all the fighting spirit now, you dumb butt. <laughs> what is... This is like Taka trying to be hardcore. Okay, Taka, just calm down. What? I am calm, and don't call me Taka. That's... That's not my name anymore. I'm me! That's not a name, you punk. I am me! Taka let out a bone-chilling howl and ran out of the room. Sorry, my throat is like, stop, stop, please. Hey, T Taka, hold on! And I took off after him. But someone stood in my way. Oh no, it's Kyoko and she's going to be judging me. As if tagging Taka out. She walked briskly into the dressing room. Just a second. What do you think you're doing? K Kyoko, um, n n no, see, this is just... Enough already. Don't go around doing whatever you feel like. It causes problems, and not just for me, for everyone. Correct. Sorry. If you're real sorry, you'll get out of here. Now. Okay. I knew Kyoko was going to be judging me. <laughs> Makoto, what the fuck did you just do? Uh, I don't know. Finally, I head back to my room, embarrassed and sullen. I'm not mad, I'm just dis <laughs> disappointed. Uh, that's actually the name of one of the episodes. Kyoko being a snitch. But still, what was with Taka's sudden freakout? I'm seriously worried about him. Bing bong. <clears throat> this as such, it is officially night time. Soon the doors to the dining hall will be locked. Okay, Which is still then. a lie. Sweet dreams, everyone. Good night. Sleep tight. It's nighttime already. I guess I'll just have to wait till tomorrow to figure out Taka's whole thing. Something something 10 p.m. Something something nighttime. Something something dining hall locked. Lies. For now, it's time for sleep. Monokuma Theater. Woo! He keeps adding stuff every time. It's kind of weird. You want to know why I hate video games? Because you're a heartless, soulless monster. You might not believe this, but I had a best friend once. Actually, he was my only friend. But unlike me, he had all kinds of friends. So me and him were at his house one day when a big group of guys showed up to hang out. They just brought the latest big budget video game. They sat there, lost in the game, passing the controller back and forth for hours. But not me. I just sat there, watching. That's right, I just watched. What's wrong with that? I didn't care. Just by watching, I was able to nail down the best strategies, even though I never actually played it. And I don't plan on ever playing it in the future either. Monokuma Theater is random, but I feel like it has an actual purpose, and I just don't quite know what. Good morning, everyone! It is now 7 a.m., and nighttime is officially over! Get ready to greet another beautiful day! I might actually have to grab that vo voice clip. All right, I need to hurry up and get to the dining hall. I need to tell everyone what happened with Taka yesterday. I mean, I bet he's going to be in the dining hall and everybody probably already noticed. 
be beautiful. Yeah, I can't do that. I feel like I'm getting better at his <laughs> But like, I can't really do any of the rest of it. That's definitely my new sub announcement though. But you know, where is everybody? Yo, I've been waiting. Huh? Are you the only one here? Where's everyone else? Hmm. They went on ahead. Went on ahead to where? Hey, we can on. talk about it later. For now, let's just go take a bath. Bath? So many unused rooms nowadays. You could give everyone a second room. Not even wrong. Well, no. Only one, two, three, four, five. Only five people have died. Someone help! Hafumi, what's going on? Yeah! Makoto, save me! I've never asked you for anything, but I'm asking now! What happened? She's... She's trying to kill me! Hafumi pointed at Kyoko because you keep looking at porn on the laptop, Hafumi! Little punk. Huh? Kyoko's trying to kill you? I never said I was going to kill him. I simply asked him a question. I wanted to know why he made the same mistake twice. The same mistake? What did he do? So... He snuck into the dressing room in the middle of the night and accessed Alter Ego without permission. And when I caught him last night, he was hugging the laptop and breathing strangely. Huh? Wh what were you doing? Whew. I thought I made myself clear yesterday, but some s being subtle didn't work. Listen to me. I suppose I have to clarify myself a little further. <coughs> Please don't kill me! Wrong. I'm not going to kill you. Merely instruct you. Oh. I'm gonna talk to Celeste. Honestly. I have an idea what he was getting up to, but... Ugh, just ridiculous. I see. Whatever it was. I can't help but be suspicious. <sighs> but I think I have a pretty idea what Hafumi's been getting up to. I'd also like to hug an AI. I would also like to hug Chihiro. Tear. Oh, I wanted to talk to her. Cause he is the best. Huh? Groping the laptop and breathing all creepily on it. Seriously, what were you doing? Um, H Hifumi, could you tell me what happened? Well... I was just talking. Why is she lewd? Um, I mean, she's lewd because that's a perfectly good emote for lewd. Also, because I wanted a lewd emote and she's adorable. Or, he... However... Which was prohibitive, was it not? <laughs> you see, talking to her was just so much fun, and I just, just... Uh, um... Whoa, okay, time out. I can't believe I'm about to ask this, but... Fumi, you're not gonna tell us you fell in love or something, right? <laughs> That I, the cold-blooded killing machine of the underworld, would fall in love. That's... Stand-in will never receive my hugs. I see. That's... Well, it Wait. would seem... No way. Is... is this love? According to the spirits... I happened to do a psychic reading for a famous CEO once. And that guy was seriously head over heels for a mannequin. He had a wedding and everything. Anything F Fumi does, I just want to facepalm. I mean, you're not wrong. How about that? And your eyes just now. I saw the same look in his eyes. You know nothing! Shut up! She's not a mannequin. She's an angel. I feel as if. And don't bother telling me that angels exist. What we have can't be defined by your petty words. I think angels don't exist. Oh. Yeah, you're totally in love. So, how did things end up like this? Well, at the beginning, 
I just wanted to hear her say master one more time. You pervert! But th then I was poking around at her settings and stuff and saw she was a well-designed program. And it was like, how can I say? It was the first time I was ever able to talk like that with a normal girl. <sighs> but she's definitely not a normal girl. What? Even when all we did was talk about my hobbies and stuff, she wasn't annoyed or disgusted or anything. <laughs> I feel as if. <laughs> Your stories are so interesting, Hifumi. Come on, tell me more. I want to learn everything you have to teach me. I suppose. That's the first time a girl's ever said anything like that to me. Besides my mom, I mean. Hey. Your mom says stuff like that to you? That's kind of amazing all by itself. <laughs> it's That's like... Why I was just so happy. It was so much fun. And before I knew it, I found myself, you know, liking her. Her face, her personality, her voice, even her keyboard. Alter Ego 3 cute 5 me If only people could look past his appearance. No. There's there's a lot more wrong than his appearance. He has suffered more than anyone, even the ones who got killed. Bible thumb. Right. Well... Even the keyboard? <sighs> I think you misunderstood the situation, Hifumi. Are you okay with this? Alter Ego was not interested in who you were. It was interested in what you knew. It's an artificial intelligence. It exists to learn. Of course it wanted to hear things it did not know. You are an expert in many things Chihiro could not have taught it about, for what it's worth. Honestly. I I can get where you're coming from, Kaleido. Kaleido Cat. I think that's how I say that name. By the way, hi. Welcome. Alter Ego wants that information, and that is all. I know that. I know. I mean, I do know that. But still, are you saying it's totally hopeless? You gotta be freaking kidding me. F you! Hey, you jerks! I'm sitting here listening to you guys jibber jabber on about whatever. Yo! Oh, Taka! Are you back? <laughs> Who the hell's Taka? Huh? Yeah, that's how you say it. I'm glad. But yeah, I definitely see what you're talking about, and I, I honestly feel like you're totally correct. Um, you? Listen up! I'm me! Got it? What the heck? What, you're... who? What? Don't bullcrap me! Isn't it obvious? I'm Kiyota... I'm Kiyotaka and Mondo. So I'm like... Kiondo, I guess. I'm gonna stick a banana up your tailpipe! My name isn't Taka, it's Goku. Also true. When did his hair turn white? What? what? Was his hair always white, or did it actually turn white? His eyebrows are on fire. That is also true. What what the heck kind of fusion dance is this? Oh wait, sorry, fusion. Yeah, they're lit. <laughs> Lol. What happened to you, Taka? Actually, I told everyone what happened the day before. Well then. His hair went white when he went Super Saiyan. Duh. <laughs> I mean... So, because of what Alter Ego said to him, are you sure it's Alter Ego's fault? Maybe Mondo's ghost show up and possessed him. Uh, go ghost? No, there's there's no such thing. What are you all whining about? Come on. What? God, you're actually cheesing me off. Turned white when he found his fighting spirit in himself. Yeah. Hey, Fumi. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. I don't know what you're thinking, but you. bro belongs to me. Huh? Yeah! Alter Ego! He's an exact copy of the one who gave me my soul back! And I'm not gonna let anyone else have him ever again! Fudge an idiot! I love how he's he's trying to be like this, like, Mondo, like, h hardcore level of, like, cursing, but he's still Taka. I'm Ooh, afraid I can't allow that. What? So it I can't withdraw. Mr. Ishimaru, since I have this opportunity, 
Let me say this right now. That's it. Destiny I'm has sure bound it. me and her together in Gordian Knot of True Love. <laughs> well, me and him have been melded together in the white hot heat of friendship. Hey, come on, you guys. <laughs> Moron, talk down to me and I'll ram my fist right up all four of your vital points. Well, I punch, I punch at the speed of sound, and I don't have any arm here, so there's no drag. That's Enough hmm. already. Knock it off. Both of you. Same Jovine. <laughs> exactly. I just, there's no words. There's no words to describe that exact situation. Hey. This doesn't belong to one person. Shahiro left him to all of us. We can use him to finally gain access to vital clues. Which of them is going to get killed? Press one if you think it's Goku, two if you think it's Hifumi. Um, I love that Taka's such a good boy, but keeps breaking the rules by hiding the laptop with everyone. I question if you would rat everybody else. That's a good point. I, I didn't I didn't honestly know whether or not that was going to be something that happened. I feel like he still has... He respects everybody more than he respects the game, if that makes sense. By the way, um, I'm going to mod... Mod you. Um, not... Not to call anybody out, but I realize the only person who knows if there's any spoilers is the only person who's played through the whole game um, who suggested this game to me. So I went ahead and modded Sirens. Uh, Sirens, if you see anybody do spoilers, bap. Just, just straight up, bap. I didn't think about that until now, but bigger sword. Yeah, no, 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 no worries. I wasn't trying to call you out, Kaleida Cat. I was just like, oh wait, I don't have anybody who actually knows what a spoiler is gonna be. We can finally use him to gain access to vital clues. Mm. Kyoko's right. If anyone dares disturb our peace any further, I'm on chapter four myself. Everyone dies in the end, get out of here. Deal with me. What? Anyway. Until Alter Ego has finished his work, don't do anything weird. Have I made so? myself clear? I can't hear you. I. Yeah. G got it. So then. Okay then. Let's get out of here. We can't afford to linger too long. Hey. Are you sure it's okay to let them off with the warning? Indeed. Yes. I have a plan. It'll be fine. I'm kind of wor- Aw, oh, too soon to pick up Dumbledore. <laughs> Tears. After watching Hafumi and, Le and Taka leave dejected, we all went back to our rooms. A part of me kind of wants to think Hafumi and Taka are going to kill each other next, but I also know there's no way that's going to happen. Unless they both show up at night and kill each other. It's still morning, but because of everything that's happened, I'm tired already. Well, anyway, I just have to pull myself together. So what should I do with the rest of my day? First things first, Tina. Equip Alter Ego with the gun. Yeah, let me just walk over to Alter Ego and spend the day with Alter Ego. And then I could give them the gift of the gun. Easy peasy. Should I do 25 more gambling? Yeah, we're going to do 25 more gambling. And then we're going to start the day with Hina. And then if there's a second part of the day, we're going to go hang out with Celeste. Or should I hang out with... Uh, I think Celeste is next on the list. First things first, the all-important gambling. Aw, yeah. Let's give it a shot. This is fine. <laughs> Alright. We're gonna be here for a little bit. I wish this music looped properly and didn't restart every single time I got an item.
See if I get anything new. Oh, I don't know what that is. That was new. I have no clue what that even could be, to be honest. Uh, another fax machine, or I guess just a phone, which is kind of worthless here. Saying this, this is fine as a habit IRL. I mean, I do that all the time. Is that a flashlight? Did I really just get a flashlight? Who wants that? Nobody wants that. Another flying spaghetti monster? Old school radio. Ooh, is that a book? That's awesome. I bet it's a manga though. I know this isn't the main part of the game. For some reason, this mini game makes me so happy. A little gambling. I mean, I 100% understand. It's always nice getting a bunch of different stuff. And I'll be honest, I'm actually really excited for the point where I've gotten one of everything. Like for me, it's like the collectathon stuff inside of me. That's like I gotta, I gotta get, gotta get that stuff, man. Gotta, gotta open them loot crates. See, even back then, loot crates couldn't escape the games. These kids these days with their microtransactions. I got another backpack. This is the only use for the mono coins. As far as I know, this is the only use. But I don't know, honestly. I haven't played that much of the game. I hate those dolls. They creep the crap out of me. Another freaking banner. Hey, Lucky! It's a little, like, one of those little thingies that you pull around and they turn into things. They're like the little snakes, but cuter, because I think that one's supposed to be free. Wow, I have a lot of Grateful Dead t-shirts. I'm up all night to get lucky. Ooh, that's a nice little bow. I guess I've gotten it before. It's still a nice bow. The radio doll scares me. I've got hundreds of pum pumice stones. I've actually only gotten one pumice so far. Watch, you, can, you jinxed it. Oh, nope, another golden gun. What do we got? Come on, come on, fingers crossed. Another freaking suit of armor. All right, two more and then we're done for today. Ooh, it's like a little cute radio toy. Is that the radio doll you don't like? I actually thought that's kind of adorable. Another stupid game thing. And then, whoa, two coins. A Kimbo golden gun. Exactly, well, we went over one, but what you gonna do about it? Kind of proves my point of there's really no reason to ever do more than one at a time. Like, it just mathematically doesn't make sense. All right, let's find where she is. She's always in this hallway. Stares in your stall with its adorable huge eyes. I mean, you're not wrong. Uh, what? Where is she? Where's Sakura? Well, you moved way down the hall, girl. Okay. Shiro would have liked the game thing. I already gave her one. And she didn't actually like it as much as the cheat code book, ironically. The opposite of possible isn't impossible. It's challenge. Hmm. That's a quote from the famous base baseball... Blah, blah, blah. That's a quote from the famous baseball player, Jackie Robinson. And we have to remember, this is just a challenge. We can't give up. Hmm, should I talk to Hina for a while? Absolutely. Okay, you want to go for a walk? I don't care where to. Although, no matter where we go, we're still stuck in this stupid school. We walked around aimlessly. Hina and I grew a little closer today. Present time. Uh, does it matter if I give her repeat gifts? Surprised a few of them didn't like the gifts they thought they would. So far, I've only gotten two. Uh, I haven't. I don't think I've had any bad ones so far. Can you give the same gift more than once? Hey, Siren, so I don't waste items and I don't make myself sad. Can I give her the same gift twice? Because I have a bunch of those. Um...
I have more of these. Yeah, I'll just do it anyways. <laughs> How thoughtful. That's why I like you, Makoto. Ah! Er, I mean, not like-like. Not that kind of like. Repeats have been okay for me so far. Okay, it looks like that's definitely true. Because it doesn't seem like she's mad at me. Seeing Hina so pleased with something I gave her makes me so happy. Aww. Um, hey, Makoto. I'm so tired. Yeah, you look pretty tired. What happened? Well... I woke up earlier this morning, so I decided to do push-up, squ sit-up, squat set. I ended up doing a thousand... What?! A thousand of each, and you don't look like Sakura? What?! Well, that would explain it. Aww. Tired. So tired. I want something sweet. Like a donut? I want those things you get when you mix flour, sugar, butter, and eggs, and then deep fry them. A churro. <laughs> she wants a churro, guys! Definitely wants a churro. Oh, I know. You want some donuts, don't you? Um... Don't tell anyone, but there's actually a bunch of frozen donuts in the warehouse. Okay. Throw those in a microwave for a few seconds and just imagine. Just a for... <laughs> yep. She eats... I love how she eats a ton of donuts. To be fair, if you eat a bunch of donuts and you work out like that, you should bulk up. And you should look like, like, Sakura. <laughs> you can't do 1,000 push-ups, what a scrub lol. Not just 1,000 push-ups, 1,000 sit-ups, push-ups, and squats. Imagine the warm chewiness of that donut. You know what I'm saying, right? You'd eat the crap out of that, right? I totally have said that. You really do love donuts, don't you? Is there anyone who doesn't? Who on earth? No. Who in the whole universe can say that they hate donuts? Um... Think about the sensation of biting into a donut. First the sweetness floods your mouth, then the soft dough cushions you. <sighs> Next you get that hint of egg and butter, right? Your whole body starts to melt. You feel like you're falling into the center of a donut itself. Donut date with Hina. Yas. I feel like you're a blow butt cheek out with that many squats. I mean... There, I, I feel like a thousand of any of those things, if you haven't trained for it, would probably be like physic. I don't know anybody who's really done that, but whatever. Is that like a one punch man's workout or something? Like run a mile, do like a billion push ups? Whatever. When people talk about the donut effective, that's what they're talking about. That's, that's absolutely not true. <laughs> ah, I can't take it anymore. I'm drooling like Niagara Falls over here. Just a second. Get out of my way, Makoto, or I got an uppercut with your name on it. Rude. <laughs> Wait for me, God of Donuts. Almost before she was done talking, Hina took off like a bat out of hell. Whenever I'm around her, I feel like I'm soaking in the essence of human vitality. Hina's report card has been updated based on your experiences with her. Could you stop giving me skill points? After I watched her run off, I went back to my room. Could I have an actual ability? Scrim's about to start. I'll watch the VOD later. See ya. Alright. You have a good one. Uh, kick butt at your scrims. I know you will. I want to say one punch was 10,000 of all workouts a day. Not 100% sure. I honestly don't know. I just know it was something ridiculous. Still have some time. I feel like I'm wasting my time sitting around here. I should go look around. More free time? Yay! I can spend with, um... Time for a new pretty face. Let's go to the kitchen, guys. We're gonna spend some time with the one and only Celeste. She's probably making herself some tea. Mm -hmm. Ah, Makoto. I should tell you, I have recently seen the shadow of death upon you. <laughs> That's just a little joke. Hmm. Should I hang out with Celeste for a while? Yep. <laughs> it would seem I'm growing used to your deplorable face. This is another ad aspect of adaptation, I suppose. Despite her thinly veiled insults, I spent some time with Celeste. Celeste and I grew a little closer today. Would you like to give Celeste a present? Yes, I have like a bajillion things that would give go well for her. Um...
think the scarab brooch is something that goes for her, right? I have things that I know would go well for her, though. Like, I know this is good for her, right? Latest gothic Lolita, yeah? No, thank you. I am the type of person who could not decline a, glyph decline a gift. Then why'd you say no thank you? So I have no choice but to accept this. But I want to stress that it is only because of my duty. Wait, what? But I thought you liked gothic Lolita, and it literally says it's the height of gothic Lolita fashion. Does that mean she liked it? <laughs> Makoto, I would like to share something with you. Huh? What is it? <laughs> my perfect gambling strategy. Is there really such a thing? Indeed. Of course there is. Are you ready? Please, pay attention. Whatever the game is, you must have a mind for strategy that will allow you to increase your odds of winning. However, the exciting part about gambling is that there is a power which can overwhelm any strategy. Indeed. There is. That power is luck. Yep. You little turd! Actually. Luck. There are only two types of luck. Good and bad. There is no in-between. And that luck is built into every human at the moment of conception. Like a computer program. Is that okay? Some call it fate. So far, who have you hung out with? Everybody who died? Every single time I hang out with somebody, they die. Hung out with Sayaka and, um, Junko. Then I hung out with, um, Chihiro and, uh, Hina. And now we're here, where I'm hanging out with Hina and Celeste. So I know Hina's gonna die next. Obviously. Luck is life. Well. Do you see what I'm saying? You mean, that's your perfect strategy? <laughs> Correct. You see, I was programmed to have good luck when it comes to gambling. This is why I have never lost. So, that's all there is to it? <laughs> you are the ultimate lucky student, yes? Does this, perhaps, exceed my own luck? One day, I hope to put that to the test. I hope you are well. <laughs> well then, have a nice day. Without another word, Celeste quietly disappeared. Who needs skill when you have luck? I mean, technically I'm not dead yet, and I'm without a doubt one of the people who has no reason to be able to beat anybody back. I'd say my life's been more bad luck than good luck lately. Gambling's probably not a great idea for me. Celeste's report card has been updated. My maximum number- I Really? I thought I was going to get a skill based from that. That entire conversation to me screamed, Get a new skill! Get a new skill! Bing. Hmm. <clears throat> this is a school announcement. As such, it is officially night time. Soon the doors to the dining hall will be locked. Okay then. Sweet dreams, everyone. Nighttime already. I guess I'll just go to bed for today. Oh. Happy New Day. I'm the kind of guy, I don't want to celebrate a new year, I want to celebrate the dawn of every new day. Because every day deserves celebrating. Once again, happy ha new day! You little piece of garbage, what did you do? Bing. to greet another beautiful day. I'd better get to the dining hall. I'm actually really worried. I'm gonna walk around in a circle, make sure I don't miss anybody, like always. Still doesn't make sense. Taka and Kyoko are not here today. You know? Uh-oh. 
Kyoko is still on guard duty, probably. By the way, I've been trying to fix Java Budge Kabe when my colleagues for the last 110 minutes and haven't made any progress. Everything is fine. Um, what does the debugger say, Kappa? Hmm. I have no idea about Taka. Damnation! May as well just forget about that guy. So, um... You don't have to get so mad. You know? They're rivals in love. What are you gonna do? Hmm. Don't put me on the same level as that... that virgin! I might catch his virginity! Of course, of course that's the go-to insult you have. But... Nah, my guess is you're... Burn! Man, when somebody takes it as the biggest insult, you, and you just throw it back in their face, that's savage right there. Nah, my guess is you're already infected. Huh? Wait, can you really catch it? <laughs> Stop being vulgar. Let's eat breakfast. But as soon as my hands are perched my food... <laughs> that voice... The doors to the dining hall suddenly exploded open and a figure appeared. <laughs> so in the end... It's you, Genocide Jack, and... That's enough. Don't bother asking why we arrived at the same time. The answer should be obvious. Yep. I'll give you a hint. I'm wearing red lingerie today. How's the fanfiction writer dude not a virgin? No, he totally would be. I think that's the whole point of that joke there, was he would 100% be. Huh? Um, I don't think anyone wanted to know. Huh? Hold on a second. You... Huh? huh? Mm -hmm. What's your top power level? Age. Like, 35, 22, 33? You start out big on top and try to look thinner down south. You SOB! <laughs> oh my god! Jill, you perv! Look at your melons! They're seriously gargantuan! Do you dunk them in milk every night or something? Oh. You're starting to freak me out. No forgiveness! If you lay a finger on Hina, I will show you no mercy! <sighs> so, what do you want? Surely you are not here to join us for breakfast. Naturally. Of course not. I came to hear a story. A story? A story that nobody's bothered to tell me yet. Are you talking about Alter Ego? Mm. Sorry, but we can't talk about that right now. What? Why not? <sighs> because of certain circumstances. <sighs> Up until now, you haven't given a crap about anything. And now you're all concerned? I just don't buy it, man. It's all clear now. I've made a decision. When we get out of here, I'm going to feed your body to the vultures. <laughs> what kind of messed up dictator are you? What? But isn't this a democracy? Or would you like to exclude those who don't fit into your tyrannical majority? That's not what we're doing. <laughs> I do actually have a Jovine loot, he just doesn't have access to it. Because I figured the heart would be a more useful emote. That's fine. Well, whatever. If nothing else, tell me what's going on with Taka. When I saw him yesterday, I happened to notice something seemed off. So I was curious. Indeed. Taka has become utterly useless. Celeste, you don't have to say it like that. I see. Did his spirit collapse or something? Was he unable to withstand the environment? Those men who clothe themselves in the cheap fabric of justice are often the first to fall. <laughs> but perhaps that will make things all more interesting. Such interesting. Ignorance. Let me leave you with a bit of advice. Don't come to rely on false camaraderie, or you'll reap its bitter reward. And with that, we're going to go ahead and wind things down for today. Thank you, everybody, for coming out. It was always uh, it was really nice seeing a new face, too. Um, had a bunch of fun. Uh, we're going to be back at this tomorrow, and it's going to be a three-hour stream tomorrow. Hopefully my throat will not completely hate me, but we'll find out. Um, until then, can't wait to see you guys then. Have a great rest of your day. Uh, I'll see maybe if we're going to be hosting somebody. I don't know yet. Where is my... There it is. Thank <laughs> you.